Hello there. I'm Richard Warner. I'm an actor coach, and this is Michael Dooney, a casting associate for Arvold and a filmmaker. And we have a question. It is of, I think, real importance to us because how fast the trade is moving. Mm. It's not only a reel now, gang, it's two to three minutes, but they are also really good to have a 30 second reel. Absolutely. And so we're mm. gonna ask this expert here some tips on creating a, a 30 second reel. What do you say, Michael? So get into it right away. Yeah. If, if you have, you know, if you wanna display your headshot or your information or anything like that, put it at the end. We wanna jump in. We wanna see you right away. Um, it's, now, in terms of clip selection, uh, you want to find the balance of three things. Uh, that is, your projects that have the most clout, mm -hmm. uh, projects which you believe display your best performance, and projects that um, have the best production value. And you want to start with the clip that has the most of all three and work backwards. Right, yeah, wonderful idea. Because you're looking for the balance of the three. Absolutely. You know, one doesn't outweigh the other, does it? Right. Yeah, right. cool. Correct. Um, how about time? Is there any tips on uh, how long each each section of the clip should be? Well, you want to, you really want to look for moments. You want to, yeah. you, if, if your scene is five minutes long, you want to extract the moment which you think is most appropriate and, and most representative of, of your skills yeah. and your skill set. Um, I would say focus on that, focus on the moments, and then kind of cut it down from there. Get what you want first, and then kind of trim the fat. That's what find, I say. find out what you really need yes. to tell, tell that story. Remember, the 30-second story is about this person has versatility, variety, this is, this, is, this, is the person, this is what the person looks like this way, this way, this yes. way, in this situation. How about yeah. uh, t tonal stuff, mixing... Uh, uh, dramatic stuff with comedic stuff. Is there any, anything you say about that? There, there is. You, you want to be conscious of uh, a flow, yeah. of a certain flow to things. Um, y that that flow can mean kind of contrast at times. Yeah. Maybe you want to mix it up in terms of aesthetics. You know, maybe you want something where you're bearded and then shaven, and, and give kind of the most well-rounded uh, image of yourself, still focusing kind of on the the three priorities. And you really want to show you as much of, as, of, as possible. If, if you have clips where most of your performance is off screen, you should probably prioritize something where we see you so because really it's a visual medium. And, you know, I know in a two to three minute tape, they, they want you to identify where the show's from. Would you do that in a 30 second or is it just too quick? You can, you yeah. can, but make it brief. Yeah. You know, put it in the lower third uh, and, and don't make it distracting. You don't want to distract. We want to see you and hear you clearly. And then, uh, guided by that, then, if you have any thank yous or slating to do, you put that at the end? Absolutely. Okay, good. Cool. Absolutely. Okay, so you've got to write into it. I, I think it's, um, it's also important that you focus on scenes that are your own. Your reel may tell a story of who you are as an actor, but you don't need to focus on the individual stories of the pieces in right. which you're including. Right. Uh, th that's not important. We don't need to see the reaction shots of other actors. We need to see you in it. Yeah, you don't need to tell the narration. The story's no, not important. It's, it's really, not. once again, feature yourself. Absolutely. Cool. And then on the more technical side, if it's you editing your reel or, or someone doing it for you, uh, you want that person to have a, a decent understanding of uh, mixing footage and leveling sound. Because so often we'll pull something from YouTube and a DVD and a flash drive and they're not all going to be the same whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to get everything at a, a consistent level and a consistent size in the right. frame where we can see you and hear you clearly. Right, right. So that's I goal. can imagine if you're watching that as a casting associate that, um, that if you don't have that, right. it's really it's jarring. jarring. Yeah, exactly. Again, mm -hmm. word is flow. Flow. Michael, thank you. Great tips.